certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. A good Tuesday afternoon, Mid Michigan. I'm meteorologist John Gross. We've got your forecast update as we continue on throughout the rest of today. Going to be a just a little bit warmer than where we were, especially over the past weekend. We've got numbers for you there into the 20s further north. Looks like we should achieve at least the 30s the further south we go for today, but that's going to come with a breeze. That's mainly going to be from the south for your Tuesday, increasing numbers closer to 30 miles per hour once we get closer to the evening of tonight, and then a cold frontal boundary will move through, so our wind direction will be changing more towards the north and west as we go in throughout the day on Wednesday. Still going to be seeing gusty winds at times near 30 miles per hour and falling temperatures too. We talk about that as we go throughout the day tomorrow on Wednesday. You got numbers right there by your lunch hour on Wednesday near 20 and we continue to fall in those numbers pretty much into the teens. It looks like by later Wednesday evening overnight lows Wednesday will be dropping back down into the single digits. Pinpoint off we're live from MBS for your Tuesday afternoon is keeping us mainly dry. Now the disturbance that we keep an eye on still off to our north and west. Seeing some of that snow now moving throughout the UP and throughout areas near Marquette. And it looks like the northern areas of the lower peninsula will have the better chance uh, to see a little bit of that snow. There's the evidence of it there on your hour by hour forecast. Pretty much staying north of the Saginaw Bay. Still could have a snow shower too further south, but really not going to be looking at any major accumulations from this. Maybe an inch uh, the further north you go when that snow is all said and done. As we go past Tuesday night into the day on Wednesday, that cold front moves through. We still could have a little bit of some flurry activity, maybe some spotty drizzle. Other than that, not seeing too much in the there in the way of precipitation, but bigger story for tomorrow is going to be the falling temperatures. And then with the northwest breeze, we'll open the door once again to some lake effect snow shower chances late Wednesday into your Thursday. For today, we'll call for low 30s, more clouds if you're not seeing the snow, but chances for that snow moves in by the later afternoon into the evening tonight. Seven day forecast falling temperatures tomorrow. Could have a few isolated snow showers on Thursday. Dry and brighter Friday. You're back in the teens for highs and looks like we could have some more snow to talk about for the upcoming weekend. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.